Hey guys, welcome back to Kayla's Curls. Today I will be showing you guys how I achieved my summer beach waves featuring the Dippity Doo Girls with Curls, the frizz line. So I used to wash my hair was the curl shampoo and of course the curling conditioner. And this is just to help with frizz. You know it's that time of the year where your hair starts to frizz up a lot easier than most. And of course I had the curling cream and this defining cream. I use this for slip and moisture as well. Um, and it worked lovely in my hair. And I also use this olive oil the, with castor oil. And this is to moisturize and of course for some heat protectant which this does have. And then of course I have my paddle brush here by uh, the Texture Pro line and of course a rat tail comb for the chase method with my strainer and to blow dry i use my remington london blow dryer and here's the nozzle it has on it which is it's easier to use this just to direct the heat right onto your hair and i had that on the setting high heat and of course high air as well and to straighten i used my revlon steel plate straightener and i used it on the level 30 which is the highest highest setting that I could use on the straightener and I used my curling wand by Revlon and this came in a set with a straightener but the straightener is long gone now so yeah and this was on I used this on high as well and there's a medium and a low heat setting as well this is pretty cool so it was my first time using it so yeah so without further ado, let's get started. So to begin, I'm gonna be using my Dippity Doo Girls With Curls Deep Frizz Curl Defining Cream. And this is just gonna help nourish and control my hair in the heat as this is a deep frizz curling cream. So I'm gonna add a good amount to my hair, to half my hair. You do not wanna add this to your hair while it's straight because it will definitely revert your hair back to your curls and that's not what we're looking for. So once I do that, I'm going to detangle and then, of course, begin the process of blow drying. Now I'm going to add my olive oil to my hair. I'm going to put a generous amount because this will help with protecting your hair from the heat that you're going to be using so yeah and then after I'm going to detangle and then start the process of blow drying once I have added my product I'm going to section my hair in half on one side and then begin blow drying So to begin, I'm going to have my blow dryer on the setting high heat, high air as well. And you want to start from your roots to your ends with the blow dryer and have the blow dryer on the, the brush as close to the brush as you can have it for your hair to get as straight as possible so that when you start to flat iron, it's not too much heat that you're using on your hair. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair. If you want a more detailed video on how to blow dry your hair to get it as straight as possible, I will put, of course, the link in my description box. So, yeah.
so I went ahead and I finished up my whole head and now I am ready to get on to the straightening part of the video. You can see my hair is so fluffy and thick and I really liked how this was looking. I think this could definitely be a look if you had like a high puff look or something like that with a blowout. So yeah, let's get right into the straightening process. So it is the next day and I decided to go over each section of my blow dried hair just to help dry it a little bit since it did get wet while I was in the shower and then it's time to move on to straightening. I did straighten the back of my hair so yeah just to make it a bit quicker. So now it is time to straighten. I will be using the chase method working on small sections. Basically the chase method is when you put the comb underneath the straightener while on your hair and this just helps so you can get eaten each and every strand without having to go back and forth. So yep. So now I am done straightening my hair, I'm going to section my hair in half just to work bottom up for the curl wanding process. So here is my wand curler. This is a Revlon wand curler I purchased at Walmart. This came in a set with a straightener and I have this on the highest setting and right now it's just turning on. So now to begin, of course, you do, you could wear the gloves, but I decided not to wear the gloves. So to begin, I just kind of detangled a bit just to be sure. And then, of course, you want to put the top part of the wand curler facing towards the ground. And then, working close to your roots, you want to wrap around the wand and, of course, hold it for a couple seconds. I'd say about 10 to 15 seconds. You don't have to hold it too long because it can break your hair if you hold it 
onto your hair for too long. I've seen videos where people would take the curler off their hair and their hair would fall right off. So lucky me it didn't and I got a little bit of a wave which I liked but I wanted to try one more time because I did just turn on the one curler. So I'm going to do that all around my hair working in small medium sections and wanding my hair. I did use the end of my rat tail comb just to detangle a little bit just to see how it was looking and I thought it was looking really good so I'm going to finish my hair and then show you guys the end result. So this is what my hair looks like after I have curl wanted my hair. So I will be using my comb, the end of my rat tail comb, just to break the curls down a bit and just give it a little bit more volume at the roots. And I did use my paddle brush just to comb through the waves, just for a little bit of cuteness, a little bit of length and flowiness of the hair. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. My hair came out great. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.